Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Bed Tread Ultra on this 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is grab our bulkhead piece. That's going to be the piece that actually says Bed Tread on it. Uh, this is the top here that's closest to me. We're going to take our 63 and a half inch hook fastener roll and we're going to apply it right to the top about a quarter of an inch from the top but it should be long enough to go all the way down right there if you have any excess just go ahead and cut that cut that off all right so now we're going to take a slightly smaller um, strand of this hook fastener this is one that's about 60 inches we're going to put that right about the middle um, it's going to be right past the bend in the bed tread and we're going to go ahead and put that all the way down next we're going to take five of these two inch pieces that have already been cut for us and we're going to space them evenly along the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and put one right about in the middle the end there give those a nice push now your kit is also going to come with some hook fastener that doesn't have velcro on the end we're going to take uh, two strips of that I've cut these to about 18 inches and we're going to run that down both sides of this bulkhead piece and we're going to run it so that it has about an inch on and about an inch off of the bulkhead piece we're going to do that on both sides of this All right, guys, so now we have one of our side pieces and we need to apply some hook fasteners to this as well. Um, so you're going to have two pockets up at the top and we're going to put at the bottom of that pocket a 10 inch strip. We're going to do the same on the other pocket. And right in between those, right above the where the wheel well is, we're going to put another 10 inch strip right in the middle. Then we're also going to take two 6 inch strips and we're going to put it at about a 45 degree angle on the outside of the wheel wells. One on that side and one on this side. Now we're going to take some of our two inch hook fasteners and we're going to spread three along the top on this pocket and we're going to do three on this pocket as well. And then we're going to put one more on our outside and then we're going to go three down the side of our bed tread and we're going to do this on the opposite side as well.
Now we're going to repeat this whole thing on our other side panel as well. All right, so now we have all of our pieces flipped upside down, and now we're going to go ahead and zip it all together. Now that we have everything zipped up, we can flip it back over and then set it in the bed of our truck. All right, so once you get the bed tread set in the truck, you're gonna pull down the bulkhead piece. We're going to apply some alcohol to all the spots that are gonna get adhesive. You wanna make sure that they're nice and clean. So you wanna wipe down all the spots. and then we're gonna let that dry for a second. So when you're ready to stick this, you wanna make sure that you uh, start at the bottom first and make sure that you keep everything nice and tight. So now we're on our passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and use some alcohol and clean the entire surface, um, all the places that we're going to put our adhesive. All right, so we also have two tie-down cleats on this side, so we need to make a small cut into our bed tread in order to allow that to come through. So I'm gonna poke with my finger, feel where that tie-down is, it's right here. So then I'm going to make an incision. And that should allow for that to come through. I'm going to do that on both of these locations. So now that we've cut our holes for our tar down cleats, we can start peeling off our backing and sticking our Velcro. I'm going to start with the wheel well first. Get that set in place. Again, put some 
pressure on that adhesive to make it stick. And now we can do the rest of our backing. All right, so just make sure when you go to stick this that you put it underneath your bed cap. Just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it under. and then push it into place. And then again, just make sure you are applying pressure to all of your adhesion points. And then you're going to go ahead and repeat that on your opposite side. Okay, so last we need to attach our tailgate piece to our tailgate. And we're going to um, use our last two long hook fasteners. We're going to put one at the very top. And then we're going to put one at the very bottom. If you have any excess, you can go ahead and trim that off. So I have a little bit of excess on both sides. So I'm going to trim that. And then I'll just use that on the sides so I can just have a little bit more adhesion on my tailgate piece. Next, we're going to clean our tailgate. Again, we're going to be using a paper towel and our 91% alcohol. Go ahead and remove our backing off of all of our pieces. And line up our tailgate piece and stick it in place. Remember, apply that pressure to all of your contact points. Alright guys, that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.